Eric Darling here with Darling Data. Uh, if you can hear anything that sounds like I'm at a dentist office in this recording, I do apologize. Uh, someone started sawing or drilling or something outside, and um, <coughs> I don't know. There's just not, not a lot I can do about other people at this point. Someday, someday. Uh, anyway, this video, uh, I'm going to talk about how uh, you can use SP Who is Active to uh, get additional inf interesting information about query memory grants. Uh, and also how the output for this is a little weird for my tastes and why. So uh, I'm going to use uh, this demo, which uh, I used in a prior memory grant uh, video. And I'm just going to run this and uh, open up and run SP who is active and uh, then I'm just gonna kill this because we don't really need anything more from this at the moment uh, you can ignore this top line um, uh, in case you can't read up here uh, this this tab is titled CDC crap and uh, I was trying to figure out some stuff for a client about change data capture and so uh, I have this change data capture job constantly running on my system now there's a wait for and it goes and does some stuff but um, anyway uh, newer versions of SP now the last version of SP who was active was released about a year year and a half ago so if you haven't updated SP who is active in the last year to year and a half now would be a good time to do it so that you're able to use this fabulous new parameter called uh, at get memory info that's uh, this lovely parameter right here. Now, I'm using the output column list just to get the, back the columns that I care about. Uh, it, you don't have to do this to see the memory grant stuff. This is just to make the results a little bit more uh, digestible for uh, the video that I'm recording. No other reason for that. But uh, it is kind of a cool example of how you can use the output column list to, ch to get just the columns that you care about back for certain things. But we're going to talk more about that in another video. Um, so just like in other memory grant demos that I have, uh, this set of queries when run in a foursome will uh, have one query that gets stuck waiting for uh, memory grant. So um, <coughs> you can see that because it is requested memory, but granted memory is null. Now, where things get weird with these results is, um, and this is, this is not the fault of the gentleman who, uh, who added this code in, uh, a smart fellow named Michael Fuller, who's been indispensably helpful working on who is active over the past, uh, I don't know, I guess, well, I guess couple, past couple years. There hasn't been a lot of active development uh, just so recently, but um, so when, for all of, so the, these three columns are what got added to the output list. This used memory column has been in there forever, and the logic for the used memory column is to report this in pages, KB. So used memory is divided by eight. I don't necessarily agree with this choice because you don't really measure query memory grants in eight KB pages. You measure them in megs or gigs or something that is a little bit more uh, in tune with how you think about memory grants generally. You don't generally don't think about uh, 8KB pages when you think about query memory grants in SQL Server. So these numbers here are always going to look a little bit weird. Of course, we have this query down here, which has requested memory but has not been granted memory and has been waiting uh, two, about two and a half seconds on resource semaphore. We've talked about that in other videos. Uh, which were highly successful. Smash hits, uh, they're the reason I make billions of dollars on YouTube and uh, no longer need to work a real job. I'm kidding. <laughs> if only, if only. Uh, but anyway, uh, so you get uh, used memory, max used, requested, and granted memory back uh, in, the def in the output list here, like top-level columns. But then you also get another top-level column called memory info. And memory info... Uh, is an XML clicky column 
uh, that will report uh, this information. But it, it, like this stuff gets reported sort of like from the raw DMVs. There's no adjustment made to it. So you get the request time, grant time, like you get requ like requested memory, use memory, all that stuff in KB. So like you do have to do a little bit of KB to GB math if you want to figure this stuff out. Generally, I don't care about memory grants that are under the one gig mark. Generally, I don't care about query memory grants until they hit like, you know, the several gigs or more. Um, uh, that's just me, though. Um, you know, I, especially on larger systems, you know, uh, smaller memory grants just don't just do not do not titillate the mind. But uh, this one is uh, interesting, sort of. But uh, the one down here for the query that's waiting is a little bit more interesting because there's a little bit more information to take in, um, such as, uh, and this is stuff that we've talked about in other resource semaphore videos. Go find those if you uh, want to, um, you know, learn more about these columns. But these are this because this query asked for a memory grant and didn't immediately get it. It's sitting in the queue. Uh, it's the next candidate, so the wait order for it is zero, uh, and you know, you can kind of get some information about uh, the workload group that it's in, what the max um, what the max memory grant that a query can ask for is. Again, this 25 is based on max server memory. Uh, and then you can get some information about that, about the workload group, like uh, total memory, how much is available, how much has been granted out, how much has been used from that. So there is good information in here uh, that is, is usable. Um, you know, XML isn't always the most consumable thing, but it is an easy way to present a whole bunch of information like this all in one go. So like it doesn't help if you want to stick it into an Excel file or something, but uh, it is a reasonable way, to, I think, to present uh, like grouped information in this way. Cool. So um, get a new version of SP who is active if you haven't updated it in a long time. Uh, and uh, check out the get memory info column. It's a useful doodad for if you are troubleshooting uh, you know, a SQL server where query memory grants are sort of out of control. Again, other videos about memory grants, resource semaphore and stuff where you can learn more about uh, all of that information. I, I highly suggest you, you peruse every video on my channel so that I uh, can get enough views to have YouTube say, you should consider monetizing your channel. And I can say, no, I'm a man of the people. I do this, I do this for them. I don't do this for money. I mean, I do do this for money. Just like not th 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 whatever. Anyway, you get the point. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. Uh, and if you would be so kind as to like this video and subscribe to my channel, I would be ever so grateful. But since I don't get paid for this, I can't give you any kickbacks. But um, just just my love and affection. Well, maybe it may be a kidney if you really need it, but I, I, I kind of don't think you want my internal organs at this point. I've been working with SQL Server too long. I've <laughs> just been tremendously abused. Anyway, see you in the next video.